Right, welcome everyone to this online workshop brought to you by learn.wordpress.org um, about Learn WordPress. So um, this is to tell you all about what we have to offer on Learn WordPress. And so what we'll be talking about today, as I mentioned, we'll be um, giving you an overview or when I say we, I mean me, I will be giving you an overview of Learn WordPress um, and the content types that are offered on Learn WordPress. Um, briefly, how we share Learn WordPress with the community. And, and also, I'll be talking a little bit about the WordPress training team and how to contribute back to um, the Learn WordPress initiative. And at the end, we'll have some Q&A if folks have any questions, but you are always welcome to ask questions at any time in the chat, and I will try to get to them as they come up. But at the end, we'll also revisit any questions that I may have missed. Um, and also, yeah, feel free to just chat in the chat um, if you have anything to contrib contribute to the conversation. Um, it'd be great to hear from you. So let's dive in. And so Learn WordPress is brought to you by the, um, the Make WordPress training team. So Make WordPress is make.wordpress.org. Um, and it, it, it's the home of all of the teams that contribute back to the WordPress open source project. Um, everyone that contributes um, to WordPress is, it, it's a global team. It's uh, people all over the world with all sorts of skills, not just developers that make WordPress happen. So um, the training team is one of many. I think there's maybe 21 or 22 teams now. Um, so I am mainly focused on the training team. And as I mentioned, it's a global community of volunteers. And some of us are sponsored to the work like I am. I'm, I'm sponsored to contribute to WordPress full time. Um, and so the training team in particular helps people to learn to use, extend, and contribute to WordPress through synchronous and asynchronous learning, as well as downloadable lesson plans um, that instructors can use in live environments. And all of this is hosted at learn.wordpress.org. And um, our training team representatives are the folks that represent the team to the rest of the WordPress project. They um, ensure issues are raised and addressed as needed, and they coordinate cross-team efforts. Um, in other words, they are contributing on the team alongside the rest of us. And our three reps for this year are Pooja, Destiny, and Ben. And they are all located in the Asia Pacific region. Um, and we usually change team reps every year just to you know, keep um, ideas fresh and um, yeah, just to make sure folks get an opportunity. A little bit more about the training team. Um, our current impact uh, as of last month, uh, we have 138 tutorial videos on Learn WordPress, 110 lesson plans, um, 286 online workshops. I know there's been a lot more in the past uh, couple, few weeks, so that number has likely changed quite a bit. Uh, we have 22 courses, and on WordPress.tv, we have 138 recordings of our online workshops, so we do aim to record these workshops as much as we can and post those recordings on WordPress.tv. Um, Learn WordPress hosts content created by 49, I think it's maybe 51 people now, different people. And the uh, we have a faculty program um, of folks that, um, that focus on particular areas in, in the project. Um, that faculty program consists of about 32 members. Um, and we've been seeing a lot of the content on Learn WordPress being translated into many different languages. And so, so far, we have at least one piece of translated content with, in Portuguese, Japanese, Greek, Bangla, Serbian, and Italian. So, and hopefully more very soon. So as I mentioned, we'll do a quick overview of uh, Learn WordPress. Um, so what is Learn WordPress? Here we go. 
Learn WordPress is an educational website and initiative that seeks to be the definitive space for WordPressers across the globe to learn and teach about WordPress. Um, I'm curious to hear from you in the chat if, um, if this is your first time hearing about Learn WordPress or if you're familiar with the resources that are offered on uh, Learn WordPress, which we always shorten to say Learn. So if you hear me just say Learn, it's about uh, this site. Um, so yeah, if this is your first time, I'd, I'd love to hear. Um, and also if you've used any of the resources here. Um, in the meantime, let's do a little bit of history about Learn WordPress. Uh, so the idea for this, um, the site started in 2013, all the way back in 2013. Um, so the work on this uh, began at WordCamp San Francisco um, and the content that was created for, for Learn WordPress originally lived in a GitHub repository that the training team had. And you'll see there's a big jump here, 2013 to August 8, 2020 the first lesson plan was published. So, you know, stuff happens, life happens. <laughs> you know, this is a volunteer um, a role for a lot of people. And uh, it took seven years for the first lesson plan to get published, uh, which is a great milestone. Um, I think during, well, I know that during the, the beginning of the pandemic is when a lot of events and learning was uh, going online. And so the need for resources on Learn WordPress was um, in high demand. So um, yeah, we just, we made that happen. Um, and you'll see a, a few more milestones that happened in August of 2020. The first tutorial video, which is formerly known as, as a workshop. Um, it, it was uh, published a few days after the first lesson plan was published. Um, and so when it was formally known as a workshop, uh, it, I you know I, it, it's a little bit confusing because what we're doing right now isn't called an online workshop. So August 13, 2020, the first online workshop, which was formally known as a discussion group, um, that was that was held in on August 13, and then later that year in December, mid December, the um, the Learn WordPress website officially launched, and shortly after, the first course um, was published, um, which was Polyglot's contributor training. Um, if you're curious, the Polyglots Contributor Training is a, the training program for the Polyglots team, which is like the translation team on the WordPress project. So what do we have on Learn WordPress? What kind of content do we have? We have four types of content. You know, I've already mentioned all of these, but we'll go into them in detail. So we've got lesson plans, tutorials, courses, and online workshops. And those are our, our four main categories of content. So first we have lesson plans. Uh, lesson plans are teaching guides for facilitators and teachers to use when presenting at events or leading educational environments. So a lot of folks um, that are in education that wanna teach WordPress uh, will teach this in a class. Uh, a lot of local WordPress meetups uh, will use lesson plans for uh, planning out an event for their local meetup. Uh, so each lesson plan enables the teacher to lead a you know, 30 to 60 minute learning session um, that's aimed at clearly defined learning objectives. So you can find lesson plans at this link here. And shortly after this event, I'll be sharing um, the links and my slides uh, so you can refer to all this later. Because uh, I know when we close Zoom, we lose all of the the, um, the chat. So yeah, just quickly, I'll just show you the, the lesson plan page live that's on Learn WordPress. Um, looks like this. And it's pretty easy to browse by topic audience, so what kind of user you are, um, what level you're at, and how long the lesson is estimated to take. So that's a pretty neat way of um, 
to find a lesson plan if you're looking to to run that for for a group. Um, one thing that is missing right now, I think, is by language, and I, I hope that will be coming soon. So go back to our presentation here. And so the screenshot on the left is just an example of, of a lesson plan there. So um, each lesson plan includes er, this whole list you see here. So it's a, a fully formed lesson plan for educators. Um, with objectives, uh, prerequisites, um, readiness questions, any materials that you need, notes for the presenter, and even some slides. Um, some of these lesson plans don't have slides, but um, they will be linked in each lesson plan if they're available. Uh, there's a lesson outline, some exercises, assessments, and of course some additional resources if they if there's any. So it's fully formed and ready for you to use. Um, so if you're an educator, please check that out. So our next type of um, content that we have on Learn WordPress um, are called tutorials. And these are short standalone videos. They're each around like five, they aim to be about five minutes long. Um, there are some that are longer. Um, some of the early tutorials we had um, you know, could be like 15, 20 minutes long, but um, the goal has been to keep these short and concise because uh, each tutorial addresses like a single topic and they're intended to be like quick how-to guides for WordPress and I'm um, sharing a link in the chat for you um, and we'll take a quick look at that, uh, that page here. So here are tutorials. Um, the way that you can browse these, uh, you can browse by topic. There are series, um, but I, I prefer to like browse by topic. Um, and thankfully, this section also has um, filter by language. So um, I think that's that's awesome. Um, most of these are going to have subtitles. Um, and of course, if you're looking for uh, a tutorial with that applies to a specific version of WordPress, there's this filter here that you can choose there. Back to our presentation. So as you saw, if, as you see in this example here on the right side of the screen, um, each tutorial includes um, that short video that's embedded in the page. Uh, there'll be a transcript below. Um, so if you, you know, need to read um, what was what was said in the video, that will be below. There should also be captions enabled. Um, it also includes learning outcomes, comprehension questions, and additional resources. So tutorials, even though they're good for learning, you could actually use tutorials in teaching as well. So um, it is, it's been done in meetup groups where, and I've done it myself, where you can watch a tutorial or a string of related tutorials um, during a meetup or a class um, and ask some of the comprehension questions or do an exercise. Um, so it could these tutorials can be used for both learning and teaching. And what do we have next? All right, so we have courses on Learn WordPress, which are a series of online self-guided lessons that are created with a, a WordPress plugin called Sensei. Uh, so each of these courses consists of multiple lessons, uh, which build up to an overall objective. Um, course topics will vary between basic WordPress usage, technical WordPress customization, and um, some onboarding resources that are used for the different um, Make WordPress teams. And the link here will be in the chat. And so these are largely, you know, self-guided courses. Uh, you could do these um, as a cohort if you want to do it along with your class or meetup group. Um, and here is what the courses page looks like. We've got a um, few different categories here. So about developing, there's an intro to WordPress um, category, using the site editor, and then contributing to WordPress um, are a few courses, course categories you can 
you can check out. Close that up. And then finally, we have online workshops, which you are sitting in one right now. Um, these are what we intend to be daily live learning sessions. Um, we at least have uh, multiple a week. Um, and you'll see an example of the, the calendar of online workshops on the right here. Um, topics on online workshops will vary from basic WordPress usage to technical coding demonstrations. Um, we also have discussions about things like how the internet works, how do domains work, um, and also the history of WordPress, which is a workshop that um, I, I run every once in a while, which um, is a fun one to do. Um, so with online workshops, you probably experienced this. Um, these are posted um, on meetup.com and you get shared like a, a Zoom link or whatever video platform that the facilitator wants to use. Uh, we do have some folks that run um, online workshops that are live streams. So you can oftentimes there are people that are creating a site, creating a theme or a plugin or just doing some development work. Um, so keep an eye on the, the calendar for that. Um, Here's what the page on Learn WordPress looks like. So it has the calendar there. Um, so yeah, you'll see that there are many, there are many that uh, every day. Um, there are some times that we do have some empty days, but oftentimes that's because there is an event going on. There's actually WordCamp Asia going on over the weekend and a lot of um, the folks on the training team are, are traveling. Um, but we definitely have a lot of online workshops to choose from in a variety of time zones. All right, let's go back here. So we consider online workshops a safe zone where people can develop new ideas, um, explore issues, ask questions. There are no silly questions, by the way. <laughs> um, so we, we all learn together. Um, that's what I always like to say about online workshops. Um, me, myself, I'm constantly learning. I, and I know that a lot of my colleagues on the training team, my te uh, the teammates on the training team feel the same way. But online workshops are a space where we learn together and sometimes we experiment of like how we learn and we like to learn from you as well. So bring your knowledge and experience to these workshops um, and it's, it's greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, you get to network with people over shared interests. We, we kind of have a, a little bit of a community going uh, within our online workshop attendees. So um, People have networked with each other there and um, found help with their own WordPress questions and issues within um, workshop attendees. So I think that's great. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, you know, networking, people exchange theories, collaborate on work together, engage in uncertainty, which is, uh, yeah, we don't know what we don't know. <laughs> and just Come, come as you are to these workshops. Um, even if you feel like you're a beginner, pop in on a developer, advanced developer workshop and see what people do. Um, these resources are, are free for you. Um, and um, yeah, just try to absorb as much information as possible. Do we have any questions on the Learn WordPress site so far? Be quiet in the chat. So well, feel free to, to say anything in the chat at any time. All right, so let's move forward. We're going to talk a little bit about sharing WordPress very briefly. This is this is how we uh, recommend what kind of content um, that that someone um, using Learn WordPress would would should use or that would we suggest. Um, so if you're a meetup organizer or an educator, um, you, we recommend you use lesson plans and tutorials. Um, if you are a curious user, 
um, online workshops, tutorials, and courses are, are good for you. And in, if you're a developer, same thing. Online workshops, tutorials, and courses, there's uh, plenty of content uh, made for you on Learn WordPress. As I mentioned at the beginning, we'll uh, talk a little bit how to contribute to Learn WordPress and the training team. So i um, just like to speak a little briefly on uh, what the training team does. So the training team has uh, five main areas of contribution. So we have them in this pretty little graph here. Um, so content creators are the folks that focus on creating content uh, that's hosted on Learn. Uh, we have content translators that take uh, any published English content and they translate that into different locales. Um, I'm going to go back around to the left side of the circle here. So editors uh, review content before it is published, and they also review published content and make updates as needed. Uh, subject matter experts uh, are folks that vet uh, the topic ideas before the content is created. And they also work alongside content creators acting as sounding boards for them and helping them get the most recent and updated information in their content. Um, and then finally, administrators are the folks that work behind the scenes to make sure that the team works smoothly. Um, administrators focus on providing the, the other roles with the tools that they need to be successful and effective towards the goals of the training team. And in the middle there, we have the team reps uh, who I mentioned at the beginning. Um, they are there to, um, you know, to tie it all together um, and represent the training team. Um, all right, so I won't read everything on the slide, but this is just an example. This shows the what we call the contributor ladder for the training team. Uh, so we, on the left-hand side, we talk about the stages of volunteering, um, starting with connecting, then engaging, performing, and leading. So um, you touch on each of these stages with um, all of the different roles that we have on the training team, and you can see the type of work that each of these roles do. Um, and again, I'll share these slides later so you can review that at your own pace. So how can you contribute to the training team and learn WordPress? Well, um, you just come use our content at Learn WordPress. If you notice any content that needs um, updating or if you find you know, if you find an error, uh, we do have a form where you can report um, feedback. Um, I will share that link here. These are linked in the slides, but I know that you can't click on, click on them. So here's that link. Um, if you see any errors in the content on the WordPress, please, uh, please send in your feedback. Um, if you have ideas for content, um, we have a GitHub repository where you can submit your topic ideas. Um, if you're not familiar with GitHub, not to worry. I was not familiar with GitHub at all before I started working with the training team. So um, there are a few other ways you could sub submit ideas. Um, you could use, you know, there's a contact form that the training team has um, over at um, make.wordpress.org. Uh, wow. I will share that link with you too. So that's our general contact form. Um, you can also join Slack, which is um, a common chat program that a lot of folks use. Um, so we have a Slack instance for the WordPress project. Um, you can join that at chat.wordpress.org. And that's where you can, in the training channel there, is where you can interact with folks from the training team, give any feedback, um, or if you're just curious about um, what we're working on, you can come and sit in on the meetings. Everything is uh, worked on publicly as much as possible, so it is Sometimes it's just fascinating to just watch meetings in progress or people work on their projects in public. Um, and so if you want to join the team, reaching out in Slack, filling out the contact form. And um, we have a brand new onboarding program that if you're interested in contributing to the training team, 
um, that you can go through this self-guided self onboarding program. And that link on the chat, there you go. Um, please check out that um, our new onboarding. And um, if you're new to the training team, we'd love to hear your, um, your feedback on that onboarding process to see how that works for you. Another way that you can contribute to the training team is by applying to facilitate or present. Um, so facilitating an online workshop or presenting a tutorial. Um, so if you want to facilitate or even co-host an online workshop, um, co-hosting is one of the easiest ways to get involved. Um, basically it is attending one of these online workshops um, and being there for the host. So supporting them, uh, watching the chat for questions, uh, and just making sure there are no technical issues. Um, and that is a super easy way to contribute. Uh, so you can apply to facilitate um, or co-host over at this link. And then um, if you have a subject um, that you would like to share your knowledge about in a short tutorial, you can also apply to share your knowledge in a tutorial at this link. And I know I'm throwing a lot of links at you, <laughs> um, such as the nature of, of online workshops. Um, all right. And finally, something I wanted to mention is that we're we want to improve the resources that we make available to the community um, on Learn WordPress. So we are currently running this survey. Um, we're working towards up, updating the needs analysis for Learn WordPress. So this survey is um, the first phase of this project, and it will help us to um, to continue to grow and improve the materials that the that we're producing for the committee. Um, Here's the link here. Um, and this survey is closing on February 20th. So if you could take a few minutes to take the survey, we'd love to know what you think about the resources on LEARN. We'd like to know how you like to learn um, and what you'd like to see more of. And that is it for, from me for the content. We kept it a tight half hour for, um, for the content, but I'd like to open it up to any questions that you all may have about Learn WordPress, about the training team. Um, I'll give you a minute to uh, chime in in the chat if there are any questions. While we're waiting for questions, I'll just uh, show you all the site for the training team, which is at make.wordpress.org slash training. Martha, I have a question. Uh, let me see if I can unmute you here. Hi. Hi. So it's just easier to um, talk than type this long question. Of course. <laughs> so I don't know if the, probably people are in a similar situation, but so I had a site develop on my Photoshop, Photoshop and retouching. And, you know, my developer like showed me how to use my site. And then for various mm -hmm. reasons, he disappeared. And um, so I, you know, I sit on the, I sit in on those workshops of the, you know, and what I find difficult is you know, everybody's coming from a different place. And a lot of mm -hmm. times the presenters are like trying to get a lot of content in an hour. And if you have holes in whatever they're saying, like you go, we get something, but it's not like it's come away going, huh? Right. So mm -hmm. I think I think the I think what you're showing me the courses might be a better place for me to like fill in my database on what's missing. Um, mm -hmm. So that's my biggest thing is like every no, like because no everybody doesn't come with the same base knowledge. A lot of those those workshops are just kind of all over the place, and then the presenter is mm -hmm. trying to get it in in an hour. So do you have any advice on like? How to fill in the gaps, like in some of my situation, I'm not a developer, I mean, and then and every site has some custom, like my site has a lot of custom stuff. So like I don't know, like there's just things I just don't know how to do or like mm. this learn it systematically, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Is you know sure. Yeah, I mean it depends on on the topic. Um, but um 
Yeah, I can, I get it. I get, there's, as you said, there are people coming from, from all sorts of places, all sorts of levels. And it's, it is challenging to come up with a workshop or a tutorial that is like concise, fits everything in an hour and tries to cover like all levels. Um, when you need individual help, I would say um, talking to your local WordPress meetup group is always the best uh, the best option there because you can get a lot of like one on one with people that are um, usually not developers or designers, um, people that want to give back. So oftentimes the the organizers of your local WordPress meetup have those resources and that time to give you that one on one. Um, and as you mentioned, uh, courses can take you uh, from start to finish um, on a particular topic. So that, and you can do that at your own pace, uh, rather than being worried about like fitting in a question in an hour long workshop. Um, and some also, I would say some of these live streams that happen through the online workshops um, are often very um, open to questions. Um, because they don't have an agenda, they don't have a, a particular presentation to have. So attending some of the live streamed um, sessions that we have listed on um, on our meetup group, on the Learn WordPress meetup group, um, I, I think you will have an opportunity to ask for ask some specific questions. Okay, great, thanks. Sure, you're welcome. Do we have any other questions? All right. Well, it sounds pretty quiet or it looks pretty quiet in the chat. Um, I do want to make sure that if you did have a question that it gets answered. Um, if you think of something later, please post it on the meetup event um, and I'll be reviewing those later. I'll also be sharing the recording of this session as well as the slides. Um, I'll share that in the meetup group as well. Um, and yeah, you'll find this recording and uh, other recordings of workshops over at wordpress.tv. Um, and I will just throw one more link at you because I can. Uh, <laughs> I have it right there in front of me. So um, this link is where we have all the recorded online workshops. So if you ever wanna catch up on um, any other workshops or even this one, uh, you'll, you'll find those recordings there. Um, so thank you everyone for coming and uh, hope to see you at the next one. Thank you everyone.